Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo. Today I'll be showing you the lightweight championship between Bruce Lee and Sergio Perez. I hope you guys gonna like it. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset. The reigning defending undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Of course, the target is on his back. All eyes are on this man tonight as he tries to make good on yet another title defense. He has owned this division for some time. The question is, as the challenges get stiffer, can he remain the hunted? Several championship fights to his credit, a lot of 25-minute wars. As he gets older, the challenges get stiffer. We'll see how he handles this one tonight. The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. More than five years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. And once again, here is the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing us, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Taekwondo fighter holding a professional record of. 17 wins, 5 losses. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, presenting the challenger, Sergio the Fiend And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. This is for the championship bout. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck tonight. Touch gloves. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right go, now. Go, I'm very you're excited. Go, all right, here we go. UFC lightweight title is on the line. <laughs> Looks like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Tagged him. Good defense there. Front kick to the body is there. Nice work by Pettis. Oh, good shot. Oh, look at this. Who saw that coming? Whoa! Pettis gets up, but he looks dazed. He looks confused. Joe, huge block there. The defense is holding up. Oh, oh. What a combination. Oh, he lands a huge kick to the body, Joe. Oh, he's in trouble, he's in trouble. Big kick 
but miss. Body kick, look at that. Well, his opponent's got the read now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. He's got to change up his striking pattern and the tempo, or he's going to continue to be vulnerable to that count. How about that shin? Oh, that's a big block, Joe. Hook to the head, lands flush there by Pettis. The kick is there to the body. Able to check that kick as well. Ooh, that's a powerful body kick right there. Level change there, goes for the takedown. Trying to take the back here. Tags him with the left. And there's one leg over. He's almost mounted him here. He's got it. He's mounted him. Oh, he landed the elbow. He hip escapes. He's out of the full mount. Side control again. Big punch from the top. And they clinch once again here, Joe. Oh, flipped him over. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Well, he gets up again here, Joe, but he looks hurt. In the full mount. He's working from his back now. Lands flush with the left hand. Now he's in full guard. Pettis gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. And he transitions to his back. Back to over under. So some separation here, Joe. Blocks the shot. Oh, wow! He's got hurt here. Oh, he got oh. hurt! Gets home. Head kick blocked. Big straight punch. Well, I know he's confident in his chin, Joe, but he left his head wide open for that returning hook there. He would be wise to start moving his feet, get on the tips of his toes, and figure out a way to get that head off the center line and out of harm's way. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Wow, what a kick. Oh, very nice. Oh, huge kicks. Knee to the body. Both men landing in that exchange. Oh, huge block. Oh, nice. Well, he has really come out aggressively to start this fight. He's staying technical, but we have certainly seen an uptick in the volume and the output compared to his previous fight. Good start for him here tonight. Oh, he nailed it! That one hurt him badly. Oh! Unbelievable. Back to his feet again. Amazing. Body kick, look at that. Nice job by the veteran there with a jab to the head. Strong work on the feet by Pettis. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Absolutely. Tags him with the left. Nice spinning attack to the body lands for him. Well, one got through. That kick was good. Hey! Round two next. And there is the horn... He survives to see another round, but multiple knockdowns there. Big round from Lee. I have no idea how his opponent got out of that round. He was knocked down multiple occasions, in big trouble, but his heart pulled him through. And here, another clean shot lands, and another knockdown. That was awesome, okay? He really hurt him there. He knocked him down, almost ready to go. Okay, this round, I want him out of there. Brittany Palmer doing her thing as usual. Here you go, second round, you ready? You ready? Let's go. All right, round two. This is gonna become one of those things where you're
you're just wondering what's, what's the opponent going to be able to do to him. Not even whether or not he's going to win, but what's his opponent going to be able to do to him? Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. An inside leg kick. Big power shot there. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches in bunches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of it. Strong takedown defense there, Joe. Oh, single leg attack, no good. Whoa! He is in deep danger right now. Deep danger. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. What a fight we got going on here. He's teeing off with some vicious shots. The kick lands. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And a left hand behind it. Whoa! This could be it! Oh, very nice. Oh, big left hook there! Nice spinning attack there, and able to land to the body. Oh! Beautiful kick to the body. Oh! He's hurt to the body! Hard straight punch. Just over three minutes to go now. Now mixing one into the body. Oh! Oh, big kick to the head! Oh! oh. He's hanging on here, but he is in big, big trouble. here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of Whoa! this second round. You can tell that shot hurt him bad in the body. And there he swung with a haymaker. And he eats a right hand there. Oh, nice head kick. Oh, man. Nice leg kick. Oh, beautiful jab there by Pettis. That one hurt. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Pettis gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. How about that shin? Going to the head kick now, Joe. Oh! He got nailed in the body. He is in big trouble here. Oh, nice defense there, Joe, to block that shot. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Oh! He faints with the kick. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Just missed with that huge kick. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Pettis. Even when you block those, those still stun you. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. Double underhooks now, Joe. Oh, huge elbow. Big elbow. This could be it right here. Big shot to the left. Shot there, lands flush. Man, this dude is relentless. He just continues to pour it on. Really as aggressive as any striker on the roster. Gotta be careful here, Joe, to not gas out. But you at least have to admire the approach. Very effective here in this round. In half guard position. Oh, lands a knee to the body here in side control. In half guard. There's a nice left hand. Two rounds in the books. 
All right, so there's the end of the round. The cut on his lip is only getting worse. We've kept an eye on it tonight. The cut man is going to have to do some work here to try to prevent that from becoming more of a factor here in this next round. Here we see it from another camera angle. And here we see it from another camera angle. Sit down. Catch your breath. Listen. You knocked him down at the end of that round. That was great, okay? He's ready to go. I want you to go out there. Ariane Celeste doing her thing as usual. Nice leg kick. Body kick, look at that. Oh, man. He is in big trouble here. He's wincing in pain. Big body, body shot. shot body. Huge uppercut misses. Oh, what a leg kick. Kick to the body. He's hurt. Trying to stay up. He is in big, big trouble. Wow, he is throwing some huge kicks here. Checks the leg kick. Pettis gets in the clinch yet again. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Beautiful elbow there. That was a hard elbow there by the champion. Big punch from the bottom. Oh, he continues to land with these elbows. You might get a cut here. Trying to spin to the back. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Back to side control. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Excellent movement here on the ground. Goes upstairs for an elbow. He's in half guard. He's now working from side control again. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Good control, posture's up. Oh, and he's back up again. Oh, oh body shot. He's hurt to the body. How about that chin? Good takedown defense, very nicely done. Pettis' leg is compromised a little bit here, Joe. You see him starting to limp. Just missed with the left there. Wow, what a back and forth exchange. Oh! Oh! Back to his feet again, amazing. Oh! He's got him hurt here. Oh, he might be out. Struggling in the clinch here. 
45 seconds remain in the record. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Back to the clinch here, Joe. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. Effective punch there by Pettis. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Into side control again. He's back to full mount again. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Pettis. Final seconds of round three. Much improved defensively as he blocked the shot. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. Oh, so there's the horn signaling the end of the round. Thankfully for him, that'll keep him in the fight. Knocked down near the end of the round. Saved by the bell, ladies and gentlemen. And here a big shot lands and a knockdown. And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. And here another clean shot lands and another knockdown. Several near fight ending moments in that round. Lots of action. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five minute rounds. All right, so with that, we have arrived at the fourth round. The championship rounds are here, and now is when we really see championship medal, right, Joe? To see what these fighters are made of. 15 hard minutes in the books. We'll see who's the fresher fighter here to begin this fourth of a possible five rounds. Whoa! He's got her! He's, got her! He's trying to stay up. Lee's kick is blocked. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice wow. slip. Wow. Man, he is rocked. He got nailed in the body. He is in big trouble here. Nice leg kick. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Oh, his leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit, Joe. Oh! He's got to be careful there. Don't rush in. Oh, big left. Front kick to the face for the KO victory. Well, yeah, Joe, that fight was over as soon as that kick made contact. And with this particular striker, you are playing with poison if you don't get that guard up. You know these kicks are coming. You know they're coming in bunches. And that was a near-perfect land. Nailed the target. Full extension on the kick. And that's one of the better highlights we've seen here recently inside the octagon. Let's see it one more time. And there is the UFC lightweight champion proving tonight he can not just get it done, but get it done with style points as he gets the knockout to leave with the goal. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. This is the lightweight championship between Bruce Lee and Sergio Perez. Thank you guys for watching. So there he is, and still, the UFC's undisputed lightweight champion. This is a hard belt to hold down, but he made it look easy tonight as he gets the job done by way of the KO, and the celebration is on in the corner. What a moment between pupil and teacher and training partners. He had a lot of support in the building here tonight with family and friends.
And I wish I had a ticket, Joe. That is a party that is going to continue deep.